Hi, a few schools have asked if we can produce some videos um, for the children so they can do some tasks at home. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to use Purple Mash. Now, I think most of the schools that I work with have probably got the logins. If you haven't, then please give me a shout and I can set them up for you. Okay, so we're on the Purple Mash screen here at the beginning of the program. We're going to click on Tools. And we're going to make today just a small animation. So I'm going to click on this one here in the Art and Design section, which is to animate. Now, here's one I just started before. I'm just going to start this again. So sure, yep, yeah, okay. All right, so here we are. We've got the one, two, three, four frames at the top. In each of those frames, you'll have a different picture that changes each time, which gives the illusion of movement. So in the first one, I'm just going to draw a simple scene with a, um, a seed in there, some sky, some soil. So down the side here, you've got your paint tools. At the top, above the pink rubber, you've got a spanner and a screwdriver. If you click on that, you've got the different paint tools that we can draw with. I'm just going to use a pencil for this one. I'm going to click it to green. And with the green, I'm just going to draw, if I let me, there you go, some top of the grass. And in there, I'm just going to use the paint can now. I'm going to get the brown. I'm going to use the lighter brown. I'm just going to fill in the soil. I'm going to do the same now with the sky. I've got the paint can open. Just going to colour that in a nice blue colour. Okay, the last thing I'm just going to add to this one down here at the bottom now is I'm just going to add with my pencil tool a small seed. Just make my paintbrush a little bit thinner for this. And there we've got the small seed just sitting in the soil. Okay, there's the first time uh, frame done. What we can now do is take that frame and drag it onto the next one so we're not starting that picture all over again. So we're just going to click on the number one, take it and drag it onto number two. You're now in frame two. You can start to add a little bit more detail. So I'm just going to use the drawing tool for this just to add down at the bottom here just a few of the roots just starting to creep through. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that again, small steps each time. So we'll just take that. And drag it onto there. With this one, I'm just going to add a little bit more detail by just adding a few more roots, just coming off there. There we go. But I'm also going to add a little bit of the stem just making its way through. So just using the pencil tool again. There we go. So it's just starting to pop through. Right, frame three. So let's take frame three and drag it onto frame four. So I can just add maybe a little bit more movement, a few leaves just starting to come through. Okay, there we go. And then with the yellow again, we're just going to add on a few more of the roots just peeping through. Okay, now as you can see at the moment, I've got no more frames left. Don't worry. We click on the add sign to get more frames. So I'm going to take frame four and just drag it into frame five. We're just going to add a little bit more detail now. So I'm just going to put on a few more uh, leaves just poking through and just make this stem a little bit taller. Okay, once we've done that, again, very, very simple. We're just going to take that, drag it onto number six, and this time we're just going to make the top of the flower just start to appear on the bud. There we go. So I'm just going to choose. Let me see what colour we can choose. I'm just going to go for a wacky orange. There we go. So that's just starting to pop through. Now, any time you can check your animation by clicking on this green button here at the top, and that will show you how your animation's looking. Right, I'm just going to add one more frame to this. I'm just going to click on my add sign, remember, at the top to add a new frame. Drag number six in. I'm just going to put a few petals onto this one now. So we're just going to have, let me see, we'll go for the red. And we're just going to draw some petals on it again. I'm just trying to speed this animation up a little bit just to give you the idea. You can spend a little bit more time just creating a little bit more of a smoother animation. Now, what I'm now going to do is just use the paint can. We're just going to fill those in really, really quickly. There we go. Now. As I said before, you can check the animation, how it's looking, by pressing the little green button down at the, t at the top. Sorry. So I'm going to click on that just to see how my animation is coming along. There we go. And we can see that it's putting each frame on in turn, so it gives that illusion that we've got some kind of a movement. Now, if you want to speed it up, you can speed it up using the slider, and you can also slow it down as well. Okay. If you want to go back then and carry on, just click on the blue square at the top, which will stop the animation and take you back into the design process. I hope that's given you an idea about what to do. Go out, have a go, make your own animation. I'd love to see the, some of these animations on social media or have a go at saying some of them into Purple Marsh. Hope that's okay. 
Thank you so much. See you soon.